Welcome to Microsoft Excel Tutorials. Okay, let's open up Excel. Depending on which version of Excel you have, this is Excel 2016. But from 2007 to 2016, there is not a whole lot of differences. Everything you're going to learn here on Excel 2016 can be applied to previous versions of Excel all the way back to Excel 2007. Open up a blank workbook. These are called workbooks and the workbooks have sheets. Previous versions of Excel automatically opened up three sheets but in 2016 Excel only opens up one sheet by default. Now this area up here is called the ribbon and the ribbon has the tools that we need to create spreadsheets. All the tools are divided up under the ribbon tabs. So we see here we're at the home tab. Next is the insert tab. More tools. View tab. And here are some additions to 2016. Foxit PDF. And tell me what you want to do. Previous versions don't have this feature. Just an added feature to 2016. Now at the top here is the quick access toolbar. So it doesn't matter which tab you're on, this access toolbar always is here. Add tools to this toolbar, the ones that you prefer that you use all the time so that no matter which tab you're on you can access that tool. So let's have a look at that. Some of the things that I like to have is save and it's already there. I like to have open so now I have the open on my quick access to open documents I want and I like to have the new to create a new document I also like to have spelling now let's look at the more commands there's a tool I like that's hiding in here here's commands not in the ribbon so one command that I like to have that's not in the ribbon is the camera command and I'll add it to this list over here by pushing this add button and I will click OK. These are the quick access toolbar commands that I like to have. So I will explain later what this camera tool does in more detail but this camera tool takes a snapshot of whatever cells you select and allows you to rotate them and paste them and so on. But that'll be for a later lesson. Okay, let's move on to look at some more basics of Excel. So spreadsheets are made up of columns and rows. You see here we're in row one and we're in column A. And this name box will have the name of whatever cell we're selecting. So let's select a different one. We will select E6. That's this cell here. And it'll be appear in the name box. Whatever we type in here will also appear in the formula bar. This is a formula bar. You can use this formula bar to add text or add formulas and functions to whatever box is selected. Now I can change text in the text box or I can select the formula bar and change the text there. This is on row 6. We can delete this or clear it. If we use the clear function, we'll clear everything in that row. Let's do a control Z which is undo or you could use the undo and redo commands up here. So that was the clear function on the home tab. We can then delete the entire row with this command here, delete. And you notice when that row was deleted, all the rows moved up. We can do the same thing with columns. Let's go to D6. We can clear this. I'm going to do the undo up here in the quick access toolbar. Or we can delete 
the entire column. In this case, it's column. You undo. You see it comes back. Redo. It's gone again. Information in some of these cells. Just to show some other features. So we have some information in these cells, and now we can use the scroll bar. Let's say we put some way over here. You can see the function of the scroll bar at the bottom here. If you have some functions way off the page, you can use the scroll bar to find them. So that's the scroll bar. We also have these views down here normal, page layout, and page break. This is the normal layout we're looking at right now. Then page layout shows you print preview. It ended up with three pages the way we had it laid out. And when we go back we can see the line of each page. So if we were to create a sp spreadsheet all the way over to column T we would end up having three pages. We can see that if we want to keep everything in one page, we'd be up to column I. Let's look at the page break now. So if you want to see the page break view, you can see three pages. Let's go back to normal view. So now we're going to look at some basic functions like insert, delete, cut, copy, paste, drag and drop, and the fill handle. Okay, let's select a cell. We'll look at the fill handle. The fill handle is this little square at the end of this box. If we grab this handle, and drag it down, it will copy the information from the cell. Let's take another example. If we select this one, it'll just move the cell. And if we select the fill handle, you see the difference? This is the cursor, and this is the fill handle. They look different. The cursor looks like this, the fill handle looks like this. So now we filled the cell beside it with the number 3. So it all depends on which direction we go. Go left, right, up or down with the fill handle. Now let's look at the insert function. We can right click on a column or row and insert another column or row. Insert as you see here or we can go up to the ribbon and use the insert command here from the ribbon. And it shows you the function here. You can see that it shows you a picture of inserting a row. This one can delete a row. So let's insert a row. See there? It inserted a row in between fours that we had listed here, and now this is seven. If we do the undo command up here, it goes back to what it was before. And we can use this insert here to insert again, or we can right click and use insert right here. Now let's try inserting a column. Same thing, you can use insert here. Shifts all the columns to the right and inserts a new column. You can use the undo command here and we're back to where we were. We can delete rows and columns. We can select this column and delete it. We can undo that. We can select this row and delete it 
and we can undo that. We can right click and select cut. And we can paste it over here in row 7, K, K7. By just selecting paste. And now it's gone from here and moved over here. We can do the undo. If we push enter, now it's back here in D5. So now we're going to look at copy. We can select this cell here, D5. And here under the clipboard group, we can use this copy command. You can also use Control C as you see here. The command for copy is always Control C. We can copy this over to another cell. Let's say K8 and use the paste command or control V on the keyboard. And now it's pasted here in the cell. You can push enter on the keyboard and that function is complete now. And it's copied into K8. We can also use the drag and drop feature. We can undo that, have a look at that again. It is not the fill handle function we want, we want this function. Cursor turns to this style and that allows us to move it anywhere we want. Well, let's place it here, 9C or C9. And let's use the fill handle one more time. Let's look at copying more than one cell. Select the cells we want to copy. Let's select all of these and use the copy function. Copy function appears. Now we can place it wherever we want. Let's place it here and use the paste. And there you see it's moved from here to there, including the blank cell that we selected. Push the enter key to finish the command. And now we've copied that group over to here. We can also drag and drop multiple cells. Get our cursor to change. There we go. Move this. Now we moved it to there. New sheet. We're going to rename the sheet. So we right clicked on the tab. We click the rename function. And we were going to call this cookies. Now I've taken some notes here on a simple notepad. One little trick, if you're copying something from a web page and trying to copy it into Excel, that web page contains formatting. So the way to strip out formatting from web pages or other documents that has formatting is to first copy it into Notepad. Everything that's copied into Notepad is stripped out except for the text. Now that we have this plain text document, we can easily copy these texts into our spreadsheet. So this is our title, Chewy Chocolate Chip Cookie. We'll select it, right click, copy, select our cell and use the paste function or control V on the keyboard. Now we've copied our title, you see it appears here and also in the formula toolbar. We'll go back to our text document and we want to put each of these in two cells. 
and we'll copy this and we'll put it in this cell A3 we'll right click in this case and just paste it and we'll select our next designation now we have the cell selected and we can paste into the cell or we can go to the formula bar and paste it in there and it appears here in the cell and let's go back select designation right click copy we don't want to change this cell so we're going to go here and we're going to use control V on the keyboard which does the same thing as the paste function here you notice it doesn't show up in the box here but as soon as we select another box it shows up there but we don't really like how this looks we can grab these columns and adjust them to make this look the way we want now we have the chocolate chip cookie in cell A1 but we want to have it in all three cells here so we'll select these cells to accommodate our title using the merge and center so that merges and centers our title in these three cells so now it's one cell these still remain three individual cells so we just took our cursor over semi-sweet chocolate chips and we right clicked and we copied them selected our cell and we pasted them go back to our ingredients all-purpose flour paste it in there we want this all to fall under ingredients and not these other designations so we will click this column and we'll go to the formatting and auto fit column width now you see it moved everything over so that none of these texts are encroaching on the next column. Okay, now we'll copy half, control V places my half. I can use the fill handle to fill in the next three cells white sugar so we'll grab that control V in the formula bar one tablespoon control C control V you see that this is encroaching on the designation column we'll correct that one and one here Grab the fill handle. And we'll select the column. We'll go back to formatting. And we'll auto fit the column width. Now, here we have a situation where some are on the right and some are on the left. Doesn't really look good. We can put it all in the center with this command, or we can put it to the left. The center command looks best okay now we're going to get our designations which in this case is cups copy that control v fill handle because the next one is also cups next two or teaspoons so we'll copy that control v fill handle Control C for copy. Control V for paste. Fill handle to copy into the next two cells.
This one is tablespoon, so we will go control C to copy that. And here we had made an error. This amount is supposed to be one. So we'll correct that in the formula bar. So here in row 10, we made a mistake. We will correct that. This one is egg. OV for paste. Control C for copy. Control V for paste. This was sheet one where we were playing with numbers. This is cookies on this tab. We no longer want she one. That was just to practice copying and pasting and so on. So we will delete sheet one. We will right click and we will select delete. Now all that remains is the cookies tab. So we we'll go to file, save as and we have all these options. We can save it to OneDrive, this PC, or someplace else, or we can browse to a folder. We can save it on our desktop. So that's what we'll do. Cookies. And we'll save it. Now if we go over here in Windows, this is Windows 8. Save down here on our desktop. This is just an introduction to Microsoft Excel and these videos will continue from beginner to advanced so check back often for more tutorials and thanks for watching.